Hello YouTube people, hello my dear friends. I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've been away for a few weeks, um, but mm, I'm really excited because I've been away for um, reasons that are related to my YouTube channel and I'm, I'm quite excited, but that's a secret and I'm not going to tell you right now. Anyway, I'm back and I'm back for good and I'm back for teaching and helping you improve your English. So yeah, I have this new concept for this video and I hope you will like it. I'm going to do two videos of the same topic, okay? One video is going to be completely in English, like what I'm doing now, and the other one, the other video will be completely in French. And I would love you to tell me in the comment section which one you preferred. Do you prefer when I speak French? Do you prefer when I speak English? Uh, do you think my explanations are better? What feels better for you? Um, so please, please t type the comments, tell me everything you want about this new concept. I'm not sure I can do this each and every time because it's a lot of work for me. Anyway, I thought it'd be a good idea to, uh, to try this out. So let me know, okay? Today's lesson is going to be quite short, hopefully. Um, I'm going to be teaching you three different expressions. Three different expressions that people generally struggle with. To struggle with means um, to have difficulties with. These three expressions are anymore, any longer and no longer. Okay, I'm ready to rock and roll. I hope you are too. Let's get into it. Okay, any more, any longer and no longer are three expressions that are very similar. They clearly have the same meaning, but they are constructed differently, um, which causes some misunderstanding for some people. And perhaps you feel like you've never really understood the difference between uh, one or the other. The three expressions refer to um, something that was true in the past, but the situation has changed and it's no longer true. It, it, is, not, um, it is not possible anymore. It is finished. When you use any more, any longer or no longer, what you are talking about belongs to the past. And it is totally different now. It's finished. It's over. All right, let's start with any longer. Um, so, first of all, any longer is always used in a negative context, in a negative sentence. So, let's say, um, let's take an example. Say you, you used to drink coffee in the past, okay? You could say, I used to drink coffee in the past. When I was younger, I used to drink coffee. Now, imagine that now you, you don't. Now you hate coffee and you don't drink coffee. It, it's finished. It's done. You're done with coffee. So you could say, I don't drink coffee any longer. I don't drink coffee any longer. So any longer is um, put at the end of the sentence. I don't drink coffee any longer. And as you can see, the sentence is in the negative form. I don't drink coffee. Okay? It would not be possible with an affirmative sentence like I drink coffee any longer. No, it's not possible. I don't drink coffee any longer. Anymore is very similar to any longer. The main difference between the two expressions is that any longer is more formal and any more is perhaps more casual. So um, let's take the exact same example. I used to drink coffee 
when I was younger. Now, I don't drink coffee anymore. I don't drink coffee anymore. So, exactly the same. Anymore is put at the end of the sentence and it appears in a negative sentence. Okay, I don't drink coffee anymore. Not very difficult. Any longer, anymore mean more or less the same. Now, you are probably wondering, should I use any more in one block or two words, any more? Well, there is a clear difference. Um, any more in one word is an adverb. If you use any plus more, like any more, you are talking about a quantity, an indefinite quantity. Let's take the, um, the coffee example. Would you like any more coffee? Would you like any more coffee? Which means, would you like extra coffee? Would you like more coffee? Would you like any more coffee? Oh no, thanks, I'm good. I've had two already, I'm good, thank you. Um, can I have tea instead? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have any more tea. I don't have any more tea. Now you're talking about a quantity, okay? An indefinite quantity, so you use any plus more, okay? But it, that's different. So don't, don't get mixed up. Uh, use any more in a negative sentence in one word, and it means that it used to be true in the past, but it is no longer real. It is no longer true. Now, let's talk about no longer. Okay, we've studied any longer. We've studied any more. Now, let's dive into no longer. No longer is different. No longer works in a positive sentence, not in a negative sentence, in an affirmative sentence. Okay? That's the first thing. Second thing, no longer is more formal. Let's take the coffee example. If you say, I used to drink coffee, but now I no longer drink coffee. I no longer drink coffee. Now, you see, no longer is not situated in the end. It's situated in the middle of the sentence, okay? I no longer drink coffee. So, no longer is situated between the subject and the verb. I no longer drink coffee. So, rather in the beginning of the sentence and in a positive sentence. But it means the same. It means that you don't drink coffee any longer or you don't drink coffee anymore. So, to put it in a nutshell, I don't drink coffee any longer. I don't drink coffee anymore. I no longer drink coffee means exactly the same. It means that you used to do this in the past, but you don't in the present. You, you stopped drinking coffee. Oh, just one thing with the no longer, uh, with no longer, when you use the be, when you use be in your verb, as a verb in your sentence, um, the no longer shifts position. Let me show you. Let's say um, you used to be friend with a person and you, um, you don't see her anymore. If you want to use no longer, you say, you're going to say, I am no longer friend with her and not I am, uh, no, I no longer am friend with her. So remember, I, I t so you remember I told you no longer is situated between the, the subject and the verb unless you use be. And if you use be, then just um, say, I am no longer friends with her. Now, on a very formal context, it may happen that you see that no longer is used in, at the very beginning of the sentence. For example, no longer do I drink coffee. And then you have the do and the I, which looks really weird, but that's how English works. No longer do I um, drink coffee or no longer am I friend with her. So you have to reverse uh, the auxiliary and the subject. Okay? 
Now, last but not least, what if the situation is continuing? Imagine that you used to do something in the past and you do it now. You continue doing. For example, I used to drink coffee and now I still drink coffee. So use the adverb still when the action is continuing, when it's an, an, an ongoing action. Okay? So that's kind of the, uh, the, the, uh, the contrary of uh, any more, any longer, no longer, it's still. So when you want to say an action that keeps going in the present, you still, okay? I used to drink coffee, but I still drink coffee. Okay, now, practice time. I've made a few sentences. Um, I'm going to type them and show them to you. And I want you to think about it for a few minutes. Pause the video. That's important. You pause the video. And we will check the answers um, right after that. Okay? So, four sentences. Sentence number one. I'm too busy with my job. I... I don't cook anymore. Or I don't cook any longer. Or I no longer cook. Sentence number two. We used to play together every day. Now we... Now we don't play any longer. Now we don't play anymore together. Now we no longer play together. Oh, look at the sky. It doesn't rain anymore. It doesn't rain any longer. It no longer rains. My doctor said I had to quit drinking. So I don't drink any longer. I don't drink anymore. I no longer drink. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was useful. Please subscribe to the channel. Please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to activate the bell icon to get notified. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you around in the next episode. See you. Bye bye. Cheers.